Well, I think the revenue picture from the fourth quarter uh, into the fourth quarter of last year was uh, relatively close to what we would have otherwise expected. Uh, and we did have some uh, additional expenses heading into the end of the year, mostly in providing support to our hotel owners. And that actually is what was the key driver of additional expenses that were really services that we elected to, to keep up at a, at a higher level than the revenues would justify because we wanted to, wanted to be able to support our owners as much as possible. In terms of outlook from here, are you uh, in the camp that does believe that leisure will rebound quicker than business? And uh, how fearful are you of things like conference business, which I know has been an important revenue driver for you, never quite getting back uh, to the same level long term? Well, in the short term, leisure has been the key driver for recovery in the United States. And since the beginning of this year, we've seen net bookings increase on a steady pace through uh, current times, bookings into spring break and over the summer, and even placeholder bookings for holidays later in the year. So leisure has been the key driver. But I would say to you that the upside surprise that I think um, will has the potential for being um, a little different than what people expected is group business and convenings, meetings. And we're seeing some signs of life in that, in that dimension. I think the uh, rumors of the end of uh, big conventions and meetings uh, are greatly exaggerated. And we're seeing some now corporate bookings into the second and third and fourth quarters. And um, so we're, we're hopeful that we can maintain that. I, I do think that uh, the, the next few months will continue to be a bit choppy just by virtue of the fact that uh, we, we are not all the way through uh, the wide distribution of vaccines at this point. But um, leisure continues to be the major driver and um, so we see that, that there's a clear path to recovery from here. Were you disappointed, Mark, that the CDC, in its list of recommendations for people that are vaccinated, still says to avoid travel unless absolutely necessary? Or does that not matter? Well, I think the, the evolution of, of being comfortable with travel is twofold. It's, it's vaccines, but it's also testing and being able to track uh, test results for people who are attending a meeting or how that will come together. We just recently uh, did a partnership with Verify, which is a digital platform that a lot of airlines around the world are using and including our partners at uh, American Airlines for uh, creating a, a digital uh, platform for uh, for verifying your, your status with respect to testing or vaccination. So I think it's actually going to be a combination of vaccination and testing that's going to allow people to feel fully confident about getting on, back on the road. Mark, uh, you, you gave an interview re recently uh, to the FT, a very open and, and, and honest interview. It was uh, very interesting to, to, to read. And you admitted how tough the past year uh, had been. I, I wonder whether you would articulate some of that for us now and whether you're kind of past the worst of it and, and getting more optimistic. Yes, thank you for asking. The, the past year was by far the, the worst year that this industry has ever faced. There has been uh, over three and a half million jobs lost in our industry alone. That, that represents 39% of all jobs lost in the United States over the last year. So it's been devastating. Obviously, first and foremost, all of our people, and this is a people business. So the experiences that I shared with the FT really related to how challenging that was. It was really emotionally very devastating to me personally to have to uh, furlough or lay off so many people as our demand really collapsed uh, you know, in March and April of last year. But we come from a low point of 22% occupancy in this industry in April of last year. And the industry ended February, the last week of February was just under 50% occupancy. So we've come a long way. And it's also true that we have a long way yet to go. We, the, you know, just under 50% occupancy of the industry is great, but that's only about 60% of where we were two years ago. So we have, a, we have more to go. I'm, I am optimistic that travel will fully recover. I think that the use cases that businesses and individuals will find will continue to evolve. And what we've done over the last year is really applied ourselves to the practice of empathy, both to keep care for the well-being of our own colleagues, but also to better understand what our corporate customers are looking for. And in many cases, they're looking for something different that's going to create hybrid opportunities through digital platforms, but also in-person experiences, and also, very importantly, the well-being of their own employees and people attending conferences that they hold. So 
we're really leaning heavily into, the, into holistic well-being. We think it's essential for the future. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.